Barakti Yahawa Barakaba Yahosha Barak the Yahawa Barakaba Yahosha Ba Hashem Rakakwadash the honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and sincerity. Lesson will be entitled No Such Thing as a Black Hebrew Israelite. Lord Will, you are edified. Question This woman, Jake or fake? All right, because when it comes to the Israelites via the curses, there is no such thing as a so-called black Hebrew Israelite. According to the scripture, Jeremiah 12 and 8, Israel is compared to a variegated bird, meaning a bird that has multicolors. Okay, a bird that is multicolored. Right? So, via the scripture or scriptures, there is no such thing as a so-called black Hebrew Israelite. And when you put GMS under the microscope, you have Israelites, okay, looking like other nations, right? So, when you go to certain camps, you will see a Jake. However, he may look like a so-called white person or an Edomite. However, he is a Jake based on the lineage of his father. So when you look at GMS, when the microscope is on GMS, okay, we further support the scripture. In Deuteronomy chapter 28, around the 25th or 27th verse, going into how we would be scattered, okay, in various kingdoms. And this is how you have the concept of the Israelite foreigner. Because over a process of time, we started marrying women of these other nations. And our children or offspring began looking like the people of these other nations. Okay. Did that time, ho? Oh, you a witness now. Don't call my phone no more. That nigga lied to me in my face. Don't know what he on no more. I even asked him, was it true? He told me, nah, look, bro. Bitch, what you lying for? You had me crying, bro. I could've did that time, ho. Oh, you a witness now. The realest nigga that I knew, you done turned. Question Jacob Fake. Right. Till the sun come down Take a fuck nigga right off the map off the map when I hit him with this whole hundred round Young Jock in the This is a nigga woman bro and also I learned this from Apostle to Heart years ago you really can see when we examine the concept of the Israelite foreigner you can tell if they are Israelites based on their offspring okay Honey, was another the sun come down. Your homies dad, you'll never slide and ain't yeah, adding up. What else? Come on. Get caught with a pipe, you out same night, you fed or what? Yeah. New art pack in the air, this gas or what? He'll still be a laugh right now if you niggas ain't gas or what? Those are niggas. Okay. So let's go to Jeremiah 12 and 9. My heritage, meaning what? My chosen people, Israelites is unto me as a speckled bird. The birds round about are against her. The birds round about referring to these other nations beginning with the nation of Edom. Come you assemble all the beasts of the field come to devour. Speckled goes into Strong's H6641 pronounced as Tazaba Wai right? Colored, variegated, speckled, variegated means what? Exhibiting different colors, all right, especially as irregular patches or streaks. This is all symbolic, saying that over a process of time or at the allotted time, the nation of Israel will begin looking like these other nations, hence the term variegated. So 
when we go to Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass if you will not listen unto the voice of Yahweh, your power to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command you this day, that all these curses shall come on you and overtake you. Going into 25, the Lord Yahweh shall cause you to be smitten. Let's read this in the NLT. Yahweh will cause you to be defeated before your enemies. You will attack your enemies from one direction, but you will scatter from them in seven. You will be an object of horror to all the kingdoms of the earth. And via this curse, being in horror or being removed into all the kingdoms of the earth, you have the concept of the Israelite foreigner, meaning variegated. Okay? Let's go to 64. And Yahweh shall scatter you among all people from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there you shall serve other gods, which neither you nor your fathers have known, even wood and stone. So this is how we have the concept of the Israelite foreigner. There's no such thing as a black Hebrew Israelite. If anything, from a spiritual sense, a black Hebrew Israelite is an Israelite that lacks the spirit. Okay, because black goes into darkness. Okay, so if a person is dark, then therefore the Holy Spirit is not within them. Second Corinthians 11 and 22, are they Hebrews? And this is Apostle Paul, so am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. So this is how we can bring together the term Hebrew Israelites. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. So now it makes sense when we go to Revelation, the fifth chapter, and when it goes into... First nine, and a song, a new song, saying, You are worthy to take the book, Yahweh, to give the elect this understanding at the allotted time, and to open the seals thereof. Because remember, the scriptures, okay, were sealed. Okay, and at the allotted time, based on the fact that Yahweh went on that cross, we received this understanding. Okay. So, and they sung a new song saying, Your word is to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For you were slain and has redeemed us to the Most High by the blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. And the reason why it's stated like this, every kindred, every tongue, every people and nation, because you have the concept of the Israelite foreigner. This doesn't mean that all the nations can be saved. Because when you go into Matthew 1 and 21, remember... The angel said that Yahweh will save his people. His people are Israelites. And has made us into our power kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. And Revelation 7 and 9, right? After this, I beheld in law a great multitude Israelites, which no man could number Israelites of all nations Israelites because of the scattering, be of the curses, and kindreds and people and tongues, Israelites, Israelites, and Israelites, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Okay, only the nation of Israel will be saved, can be saved by the hand of Yahweh. Via his right hand, Yahweh shot. Lord will, you are edified. Shalom.